This is a horseshoe crab, often referred to as a living fossil. If you peer inside this horseshoe crab, you'll discover some genuinely peculiar features. Today, let's delve into the dissection of a horseshoe crab. During a business trip to Thailand, I stumbled upon a seafood store and encountered a specimen I'm eager to share with you. It happened to be this exact horseshoe crab. Regrettably, the tail had been severed, but it provided an excellent opportunity to examine the distinctive traits of the horseshoe crab. So, I promptly purchased it and took it back to my hotel. Ta-da! This is the horseshoe crab. It does have a rather peculiar appearance, doesn't it? In most countries, it's referred to as a horseshoe crab. Interestingly, despite often being labeled as crabs both locally and internationally, horseshoe crabs do not fall into the crab category. Biologically speaking, crabs are part of the decapods in the crustacean family, while the horseshoe crab, surprisingly, belongs to the arthropod phylum Cyromorpha, Cyuridae. They share more similarities with scorpions or spiders than traditional crabs. Horseshoe crabs are often called living fossils because their appearance is scarcely changed from the Paleozoic era to the present. Surprisingly, even these enduring creatures with their long history have found their way onto the dinner table in Thailand. Horseshoe crabs sold in seafood markets are typically cut open, and it's mentioned that the eggs inside the horseshoe crab are cooked and consumed. I'll showcase the horseshoe crab eggs later. But first, let me illustrate the anatomy of the horseshoe crab. The horseshoe crab's body is comprised of a cephalothorax, an abdomen, and a tail. The cephalothorax and abdomen are encased in a hard shell like this, and the abdomen bends this way. The lower section of the abdomen is armed with six spines on each side, and this area is quite sharp. Hence, caution is advised to avoid being stung when handling horseshoe crabs. Additionally, horseshoe crabs boast somewhat intimidating tails, don't they? The horseshoe crab's tail is so sharp that it was historically utilized to fashion harpoons or spears. Interestingly, horseshoe crabs don't employ their tails for offense or defense. Instead, they use them to right themselves if overturned or to navigate while swimming. The presence of multiple eyes distinguishes horseshoe crabs. To begin, they possess a pair of compound eyes, akin to insect eyes, located on the upper left and right sides of the cephalothorax. In addition to these compound eyes, the horseshoe crab features a separate, simple, light-sensing monocular eye designed to detect changes in light. Turning our attention to the underside, we observe that the horseshoe crab is equipped with six pairs of legs. The first pair of legs, known as chelicerae, is employed for feeding. Despite using tong-like claws to bring food to their mouths, the horseshoe crab's mouth is unusually situated between these legs. Due to their small mouth, horseshoe crabs are limited to consuming smaller creatures. They primarily feed on small crustaceans, shellfish, and worms from the seashore. The horseshoe crab's digestive tract extends from its mouth to its tail, with digested food expelled through its anus, positioned between its tail and stomach. Below the scoots, these five pairs of legs are called pedipalps, which the horseshoe crab utilizes for movement across the seafloor. Upon closely inspecting these legs, you'll notice they all have a scissor-shaped structure. Interestingly, the horseshoe crab's last pair of legs stands out due to their considerable length and a distinctive spatula-like shape with multiple separate tips. The final leg pair of the horseshoe crab has a modified structure that enables the crab to exert substantial force on the ground during dives or movement across the seafloor. Upon closer inspection between the last legs, faint traces of a pair of degenerated appendages become apparent. The lower segment of the legs comprises the distinctive horseshoe crab respiratory system known as book gills. These book gills are arranged in a stack resembling a book and function similarly to gills for respiration. If the book gills remain moist, horseshoe crabs can endure extended periods of time outside the water, as they can continue to breathe even in a non-aquatic environment. The uppermost callus resembles a cover for the remaining callus gills, concealing a reproductive pore beneath. Through this pore, the horseshoe crab expels its reproductive cells. This horseshoe crab is a female, allowing us to observe her eggs. When you open the horseshoe crab through this slit, it does look a bit... 
peculiar, doesn't it? Those numerous round structures inside are, in fact, horseshoe crab eggs. A single female horseshoe crab lays over 80,000 eggs annually. Hence, horseshoe crab eggs are a crucial food source for various marine organisms. Interestingly, the part of the horseshoe crab most commonly consumed by people are these eggs. That's why, in Thailand, they exclusively sell horseshoe crab eggs in this form. I regret that I couldn't taste them, but the solid fishy odor emanating from the horseshoe crabs was overpowering and made me feel queasy. It's the worst. Finally, considering horseshoe crab mating, these creatures typically reside on the ocean floor and migrate to the beach when it's time for breeding. Horseshoe crabs mate when the female deposits her eggs in the sand, and the male affixes himself to the female's back to fertilize the eggs. As a result of this mating behavior, the male firmly clasps the edge of the female. Due to this characteristic, unlike the female, the male has the first pair of walking legs transformed into a glove-like shape. Males cluster together during mating, often leaving the adult female with numerous scratches. Horseshoe crabs indeed exhibit fascinating behaviors, don't they? The horseshoe crab had a wealth of information to share, leading us to split it into two videos. In the upcoming video, we'll delve into the other organs of the horseshoe crab and address common misconceptions surrounding the horseshoe crab's blue blood. Stay tuned for the next installment. That concludes our exploration of the horseshoe crab in this video. If you found the content enjoyable, please consider subscribing to our channel. This is Fishy Science.